I'm Will Martin, President and CEO of Eris, and I appreciate uh, LSI for, for having me here to tell, uh, to tell our unique story. You've heard a lot over the last couple of days about stroke. You've heard a lot about time as brain. You've heard a lot about the need to improve outcomes in these patients, but we haven't talked a lot about are the most critically ill patients, those in the neuro ICU with intracranial bleeding, with traumatic brain injury, how to innovate and how to improve outcomes for these patients. At Eris, that's our, that's our focus, neurocritical care. We're a unique Swedish-American company. Uh, our seed money was uh, generated through uh, key Swedish business persons when our uh, inventing physician, a Greek neurosurgeon, was studying at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm. Uh, so instead of engaging uh, U.S. investors, U.S. venture investors for our Series A and Series B. We actually took a unique route and went public on one of the secondary NASDAQ markets in Stockholm. So we are publicly traded in Sweden at this point, uh, but 90 plus percent of what we do as an organization is based just a few miles down the road in San Diego. Uh, we have direct sales and education teams in key markets around the world, and as I'll talk here in a few more slides, uh, our commercially approved products. We actually now have a commercial partnership in place with Medtronic here in the United States. We're focused on that neurocritical care market, uh, primarily on patients with intracranial bleeding and traumatic brain injury. These are the sickest patients in the neurocritical care unit. Only about 20% of these patients can live independently at six months after hemorrhagic stroke. Now, hemorrhagic stroke may account for 15 to 20% of total stroke volume, but it accounts for almost 50% of total stroke death. And it creates an attractive market opportunity for us. Now, approximately two and a half billion US dollars in the US and Europe alone in these core areas of focus. And as our system provides automated irrigation, we're now seeing the ability to expand into targeted drug delivery for agents that can't cross the blood brain barrier. And that will allow us to exponentially increase the market opportunity moving forward. Now, those that came before me, Caitlin from Brainspace, those who participated in the fireside chat last night, outlined this problem very clearly, so I won't spend much time. But if you slip on the sidewalk outside because it's wet, have intracranial bleeding, you're gonna go to a local hospital and be treated in a rather antiquated fashion. Right? The latest tools now have been on the market for decades. Uh, the standard of care is a passive drain that uses gravity to drain off excess fluids to try to remove those toxic blood materials. These catheters become blocked approximately 50% of the time. They have to be replaced. They have to be flushed. They need external manipulation, which leads to unacceptably high rates of infection and also extended time and significantly increased costs to treat these patients. Our system, Iraflow, is CE marked and FDA 510K cleared to not only provide this needed fluid removal, but also automated irrigation and continuous patient monitoring. So what does Iraflow do in terms of uh, the impact of its automated irrigation? The orange catheter is a market leading ventricular drain. Solid particulate very quickly collects and clots at those drainage holes, compromising needed fluid removal. With Iraflow, you can see the automated irrigation helps to keep those drainage holes free from blockage formation, but the irrigation also helps to dilute the surrounding area. You can start to see the substrate background change over time. And the picture on the right, you can very quickly see that the viscous material of chronic blood clot within the brain on the left compared to the diluted drainage after Iraflow's automated irrigation. And so the impact of Iraflow's combination of irrigation and drainage has now been shown in more than 15 peer-reviewed clinical manuscripts. And as a company, we've started to evolve into more of the head-to-head -head perspective comparative clinical trials. The most recent clinical study looking at chronic subdural hematomas from the thought-leading group in Buffalo, New York, led by Dr. Adnan Siddiqui and Dr. Alad Levy, the current president of the Congress of Neurological Surgeons, showed that when comparing, comparing Iraflow to conventional ventricular drainage, Irrigation with Iraflow, what we call active fluid exchange, resulted in statistically improved hematoma clearance rate, 
You're diluting and washing away that blood more efficiently, as well as reduce catheter-related infections. Less external manipulation, the ability with each irrigation bolus to wash the distal end of the catheter and prevent bacteria from colonizing. The smaller data set, 20 patients in each arm, but it also showed trending towards uh, reduction in catheter placement duration, length of stay, and seizure activity uh, that likely would have been proven significant with a larger data set that we'll continue to build upon. The system itself is a true razor, razor blade model. It comes with a small piece of capital equipment that we generally will sell, but if needed, we'll lease or do a, a disposable utilization placement agreement with hospitals. Uh, but more than 80 plus percent of our revenue is being generated and will continue to be generated by single use disposables. Averaging 4,000 US dollars per patient here in the US, we have a dual lumen catheter that's placed inside the brain as well as the secret of the system, a digital pump that controls the automated irrigation as well as the patient's fluid removal based on evolving condition. As I mentioned earlier, we are commercially available uh, in key markets around the world. Yet over the past couple of years, of course, our commercial trajectory has been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Neurosurgical ICU has been converted to COVID units and uh, we're, we're approximately a year and a half probably behind our early projections. And we spent much of the pandemic period where we couldn't travel and couldn't engage customers at our desired levels by seeding the market with the quote unquote razors, getting as many Iraflow control units into the market with our global distribution partners, with hospitals in the United States to prepare for increasing revenue moving forward as more patients are being treated. Uh, so over the last several years, since the system has been commercially available, each quarter we've increased the global install base and we're now starting to see the impact in growing revenue. Uh, last year we did approximately $4 million US as a Swedish publicly traded company, this is uh, noted on the slide as 40 million sec. We have communicated to the market our expectations to grow that to north of 35 million uh, in US revenue by the end of 2025 uh, with the transition to cash flow break even and profitability in 2025 as well. A lot of this future looking growth will be driven in the United States. Uh, in the fourth quarter of last year, we announced a commercial partnership with Medtronic, the world's largest uh, medical device company. Uh, this pilot is underway where a number of Medtronic territory managers are now selling our Airflow system to their customers. You know, our IRIS uh, sales and education team supports them, uh, handles the training, as well as much of the uh, customer interaction during patient treatments. Uh, this partnership immediately doubles our commercial presence in the United States. Uh, and as the partnership grows and evolves, uh, we're gonna mutually explore this expansion to uh, more Medtronic territories uh, throughout the course of this year. So what we end up with is an investment thesis that now is focused on commercial execution. We have a product that's been validated clinically. We have a product that's being adopted by key sites uh, on both sides of the Atlantic, a growing pool of clinical evidence. And now post pandemic, through our own direct teams, as well as our partnership with Medtronic, we're focused on growing that commercial presence and driving that razor razor blade model with repeat orders of our high margin consumables. Now, as a publicly traded company, we estimate approximately 20 million in additional investment will be required uh, in order to get us through our goals that have been stated in 2025. We have active uh, ongoing fundraising efforts. Our lead investors own about 60% of the company at this point. They're looking for a companion strategic or institutional investor uh, to potentially engage in a private placement or a pipe that will then open up all public and uh, private opportunities for the company moving forward. If you're interested, my contact information is on the screen. Uh, we have a, a wide variety of social media channels. Uh, reach out to me here at the conference uh, or let's connect directly. So thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity to tell you the era story.